Hey everyone, hi, how's it going? Yes, today I have some batteries with some energy in it, which is gonna be fantastic, guys. Um, we're gonna be doing the Maiden here in just a sec. Uh, we're having a little bit of um, wind going on, so I'm gonna try to deal with that. I'm gonna wait till the wind kinda gets down a little bit lower before we get it going on the Maiden. Uh, but it's taxing really nice. I was kinda having uh, troubles with the tail wheel getting it adjusted right, but I did some adjustments in my office and it seems like they took really well because when it takes off, or when, it, when I've just been taxing it here on the runway, it, um, it actually uh, it, it tracks straight, which is nice. <laughs> so it's ni nice that I don't have to do that. Plus, I forgot, I for I forgot, to, um, I forgot to bring my, uh, my tools with me, so I don't have a 1.5 millimeter to adjust it even if I wanted to. So um, luckily, luckily we did that. So hi everyone, uh, thanks. We're gonna get going in just a moment. Um, of course, I have you on the tripod right now and I'll have to put you on the, uh, my head, um, uh, my head, GoPro mount thing in just a bit. It is a beautiful place, Drifter Warriors. Thank you so much. I'm a, I'm a lucky person to live uh, so close to here. Hey, everyone. Um, so, everyone, I'm going to wait maybe about another two, three minutes and we'll get started. Maybe, maybe less than that. Um, and, um, uh, just so we can let people uh, come in, in and uh, and join us, uh, we have ten of you guys here right now, which is great. Uh, yeah, this so um, there's uh, there's a YouTube channel. Um, it's all uh, there's no spaces between the words. It's called In the Tube Deep. Uh, he is a surfer, so once again, that's In the Tube Deep, and he took this off for a maiden uh, at, on on the beach, and it was really good. He's kind of flying around. I think he had the CG at like. Like 75 or something like hey guys look there's a there's a roadrunner right over here on, on the runway see that guy there's there's a roadrunner fella oh they're, they're feeding him uh, mealworms <laughs> look at the roadrunner guys awesome we got a live feed on the roadrunner <laughs> oh hang on I know where's the coyote at <laughs> that's the only thing we need um, yeah, so anyway, this guy, he was mating the airplane, and he, uh, he kept moving the CG back until, um, until uh, we got to 85, mil mil 85 millimeters from the leading edge. Yep, those, those are the mealworms. <laughs> those, all the, uh, all the rud runner rudders love those things, so look at that. He's getting pretty bold now. He's like, <laughs> he's like I don't care about you guys' airplanes. So it's really funny when my buddy over here, when he uh, flies his timber, over here in the bushes and they're over all by the bushes they duck behind the bushes because they think that it's like a crow or something like that something from above trying to trying to get them so all right so we have friendly uh, road runners up here isn't that awesome you guys <laughs> okay so i'm going to take you guys off the uh tripod now i'll start getting you guys ready to go on to my head here i just need to pull the tripod mount off will you take it from your hand no not yet. <laughs> That he's gotten. Wow, he's getting pretty brave. Roadrunner watch. <laughs> yeah. You bring one down here? Watch, I'll put the camera right here and you. <laughs> Mine doesn't even mind. <laughs> sure. Alright, I'll just. <laughs> Alright, guys, we've got Roadrunner watch. Alright, let me pull off the, uh, the mount here. And we will get started. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Uh, it's a great-looking airplane, guys. Um, unfortunately, my daughter could not find any. Um, she couldn't find any red ribbon this morning. I told her I, I needed a scarf for my uh, for my pilot, uh, and she uh, we were off. We were already late for school, and she couldn't quite find one. So she uh, apologizes for not putting the scarf on. But we will have one in future videos. I have two batteries, so I'm going to fly one battery uh, for the. Uh, for the maiden here, and then I'm gonna put my Mavic Air up in the up in the air, really far up, and then put it like a down a downward shot of this, as long as I don't crash it. <laughs> Roadrunners don't fly. They are, they kind of they kind of hop up in the air, don't they? Is that what they do? Oh yeah, they kind of they don't really get super flight though, right? All right. Okay. Hello. I'm gonna make you guys dizzy here. I'm screwing this on. on. All right, <laughs> you guys are probably really dizzy now. <laughs> All right, okie dokie here. Let's get this 
Oh, there's my radio. I feel like we've done this before. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everyone. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, we will get to comments um, as soon as um, we're done flying here. Let me get this uh, on my head here. I probably need to tighten this up at some point. This camera's getting heavy on my head. All right, so I do have to angle this up just slightly because when I get up in the air, um, it actually, uh, you can actually see because, so what, sometimes doing the ground handling, you can't actually see what the airplane is doing because I'll try to keep my head fairly steady so I'm not actually jostling you guys around too much. So I'm gonna try and go a little bit lower on this side. Okay. All right, guys, let's go for a flight. Um, so one thing to mention uh, to Hobby King, if they ever happen to watch this video, is there is no um, advice in the um, in the online manual, and they do have an online manual for this airplane. There's no advice as far as uh, throws for this airplane, so um, that is something that we need to change. I'm I'm sure. I'm gonna take my throttle, my throttle cut off here. Okay, and we're also getting this weird wind again. I'm gonna wait till the wind dies down just before I take off. That wind is actually coming this way, although I want to take off that way. So uh, maybe not the best idea, but do a downwind landing. But it's it's not enough wind to even move the uh, the uh, the flag over here, so I'm not really worried about it too much. And I do need to get my uh, my my uh, neck strap here. Hang on, just a sec, guys. got to check my feed really quick before I get going and my camera's already tilted off to one side I'm gonna I'm gonna actually move the camera this way just a little bit there we go so it's not quite so tilty okay let me just check the feed one more time make sure everything's good everything looks good um, my camera's pointing in the right direction <laughs> I still remember that day where I actually had my camera facing the wrong direction it was facing towards my forehead that was a that was a fun day <laughs> All right, let's see here. Okay. <laughs> One more time, guys. I actually, I accidentally just tapped the screen a little bit. I just wanted to make sure I didn't end the stream by accident. <laughs> That'd be funny. Okay, so I think we are good for, um, I think we're good to go here. All right, so I'm gonna take off in just a sec, guys. Uh, I just don't want to run into your Mavic on the, on the runway. <laughs> Get yeah, a taxi one time. Oh yeah, that's that's going nice and straight. Let's get do one more surface check real quick just to make sure everything is doing what it should. And there's like no wind right now, so so right, left, up, down. Give it a little bit more elevator throw. So I have my elevator and aileron on the controls right here. Okay. And of course the wind just came up just a little bit from behind me. So I'm just going to wait till that wind gust goes away and then we will get to flying. Ground handling is really nice though. My buddy over there with his Mavic. Yes, if you guys can see the windsock here, the wind's just coming this direction. It's a little bit of a crosswind, but nothing too bad. But it's shifting a little bit to diagonal here, which is um okay. We have no no air right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get going. Okay, taking off. There we go. A little waggle on the start there. Nothing too bad. Bring it back down the runway here. So far, so so good. It feels a little tail heavy. It's gonna get this. Let me take it up high here. Get it kind of trimmed out here. This is the 2200 uh, 3S graphene pack. Feels pretty good. 
No trim necessary yet. Right about half throttle right now. I might move to the end of the runway here. I think I'm nosing up just a little bit, so I'm gonna put the trim down by two. So far, so good. Let's uh, throttle off right now. Motor still off. Giving you up to real slow turn there, slight slight rudder turn. Seems like when I give it throttle, it seems like it's, it's nosing up just a little bit. Let's give it a little bit more nose down here. Another rudder turn. That's throttle off right there. That's full speed right there. Wow. <laughs> Nice roll rate. Okay, so it feels pretty good. Um, let's see here. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's popping up anymore. But yeah, that, that CG seems about right there. It seems very maneuverable. I have the CG right on 85 millimeters. I'm thinking I might be a tiny bit tail heavy as it is right now because it has a tendency to want to put its nose up in the air there. I, I might need to move my CG back just uh, me. This seems like it wants to pop its nose up really easily so I think I might be a little too, my CG might be too tail uh, centered so I might need to uh, just move this battery pack forward just a tiny bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to land, guys, and I'm going to move that, that battery forward just a tiny bit. All right, so far so good, guys. Yeah, it's a little pitch, it's a little pitch sensitive. I, I think it might be due to the short nose to tail um, bit here. And I've got a nice crosswind going, of course, when I'm trying to land here. So I'm going to go around a few times until the wind dies down. Just do some slow passes here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely tail heavy. i gotta, I got to move that CG uh, for the battery pack forward. Um, anytime I slow down, it kind of pops its nose up a little bit. Let's throttle off. Oh, watch out. Shite! Alright, yeah. I don't think I injured anything there. Landed! <laughs> Alright, so... Uh... I feel like I have some resistance on the... I might have... I'm gonna turn that off real quick. I... Let's see if I can... I'm gonna move the battery pack forward a little bit. It felt a little tail heavy. Okay, so throttle cuts on. So I... Let's see, did I bend it? Yeah, I bent it. So... Yeah, I'll have to adjust that in just a second. Let's see here. Bear, bear with me, everyone, while I uh, do this. Oh, my battery pack slid forward on that crash, too. Okay, so I'm going to go forward here, and we'll test the CG. Definitely too um, pitchy, and that tail wanted to come down on me, so... Okay, so it's leaning forward towards the nose just a little bit more now. Uh, I might go a little further. Let me see. I should have put a little mark where I had this 
battery pack last time. So I think I'm about actually about an inch forward from where I was. So I think I was, I think I was there. Now I'm here. Let's try that. Okay, yeah, so it is um, slightly more nose heavy now. So, okay, let's try that out. And um, of course I bent the landing gear. So this one needs to come forward a little bit. You can see there's a little bit of a haze bar right there where that came forward. Uh, ah, there we go, perfectly straight. <laughs> okay, let me uh, angle this up a little bit here. And that looks good, even though it looks ridiculous. Let's try that again. Oh man, look at this hawk right here, guys. Beautiful. <laughs> I can go that way this time. <laughs> uh, I think it's feeling better already. Yeah, that's already more stable. Let's see how it is in the turn. Yeah. Yeah, so on 85 millimeters, just having it tip forward maybe a little bit might be the, the ticket. Let me fly it around a little bit before I give it a final verdict here. But yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely, whenever I would give it up elevator, it would just keep going up. Which... I come over to the edge of the runway here. Yeah, this is a pretty sporty plane, even though they call it a slow poke. Don't hit the flagpole, Jeff. <laughs> See now there's now there's something white there. Do a little roll. The same spot where I saw the red. Oh. Now it's white. A little loop. That's why I was wondering if you're down. Now it disappears. See the white thing disappears. Little rudder turned. Okay, I think that it's a little better. I might have gotten a little bit too far nose, nose uh, with the battery there. Moved the battery forward by about an inch. Uh, it still feels good though. It's pretty uh, straight and level with the um, uh, with the about half throttle right here is raising a little bit, but maybe because uh, the, the wind is coming from my left to right here. It's definitely a reactive airplane though. It's, it's pretty reactive. Uh, not as slow as I, I would have thought of, although I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit and let's do a stall test here. Okay, I'm gonna put it into the wind here. Drop the throttle. Yeah, real, real, real easy um, on the on the real, real easy on the stall characteristics. Uh, controllable, didn't drop out of the air. Oh, this darn wind! 
It'll get me nervous for my uh, for my landing here. <laughs> I'm so used to belly landers. This this uh this landing gear stuff is for for the birds, man. It's gonna show my true skill level. throttle off into the wind. It's getting knocked around a little bit. It's full throttle. A little inverted. Sorry I'm not talking too much guys because I'm actually, the controls are actually a little twitchy. I might turn down my, my, um, my, my gains a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go just a little under 50% for the ailerons now. Feels a little better. I'm going to turn the elevator down to 50% now. Maybe that was my problem. Maybe I just had too much throw. That's a good airplane though. I could, I could see uh, this being a real fun flyer. It's very acrobatic. It's very maneuverable. Yeah, darn this wind. I do a couple of, I do a couple of passes here, and just uh, see how my approach is going to be. A lot of wind right there. I feel like the battery is sagging just a little bit. Okay, guys, landing. Thank you. <laughs> I know. I I might go around. I'll see. Ah, there's a Tokyo drifting you there. <laughs> yeah, I actually have some of those. These are like kind of rubbery looking yeah, ones. Like yeah. Oh man. Hey everyone. Uh, I'm gonna check out how what the the um, the battery level is on the airplane. I, I don't know if I was just getting nervous, but I was uh, just kind of freaking out that I didn't have quite as much throttle there. Um, let me see what I can do here. There we go. So guys, I will look back at your comments in just a moment. Uh, if you guys had any. Uh, let's just check the battery voltage level real quick here. We are at 11.3, uh, so 3.77 right now. So that was a good time to land. You know, you can go down to like 3.6, which is just fine. So guys, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, just change out the battery and I'll end the live stream here in just a second after we uh, answer questions. Um, but uh, what I'll do is I'll get my Mavic up in the air and I'll take some aerial footage of this thing uh, flying. I'll just stick it up in the air and then I fly around and try and land. <laughs> I'm, a I'm a little bummed about the wind this morning. It's, uh, it's kind of uh, freaking me out. Uh, when, when, you, it, when you get the, the wind going the wrong direction, which is cross the uh, the runway, it's, it's 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 hard to land. So I don't want to crash the thing, obviously. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's take a look here, shall we? <sighs> Battery, uh, Rob's Racing. Is this one right here? It's um the graphene uh, three cell um, pack. I've actually never used graphene's before, so the first time for the graphene's. Um, let me flip the camera around here so you guys can see my 
my messed up hair from the, the, the head strap. All right, uh, let's take a quick peek at comments. All right, so I'm just gonna take a look up from the top wall. Um, let's see here. Yeah, congrats on uh, remembering to um, charge the batteries. Thank you, uh, Lauren. <laughs> What's up? Uh, beautiful place as Drift Warriors. Um, Jeff, you got, you're getting senile. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's having kids is the problem. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dante Arona Yang, my nephew, says, looks like a fun pl plane. Yeah, it, it is a fun plane. It, it's a, it's a great looking airplane. Um, I think I need to get, uh, the, the CG in the exact right place because, um, you know, it was a little, you know, it doesn't stay super sta stable in the air. Not like I would have thought, but, um, it's, uh, it's a good flyer nonetheless. And remember, I did glue on my, my, um, stabilizer, my horizontal stabilizer, a little bit crooked, so... <laughs> I've been seeing some good reviews. It does look like a good one. It is a fun airplane. I think this this can easily take a larger uh, pack, probably up to about a 3,000, I would think. Uh, do they fly at all? No, they don't. The, uh, Rob, uh, Lauren's talking about the um, the Roadrunners. They do hop up and fly for like 20 feet or so, so they're not, I wouldn't really consider that flying. Um, Rob Britton was talking about the magpies uh, and stealing one out of the nest. Ah, yeah. <laughs> hey, John VHRC, stylish head mount there, I know. It makes me look completely ridiculous on these uh, these flights here. Michael W., it really is a slowpoke. <laughs> Discover RC says it looks like a relaxing plane. Uh, Robinson Racing, of course, she says I want one. Which uh, Robinson, uh, <laughs> Lauren, why don't you just tell us, everyone, which planes they don't want? <laughs> I'm like her. I just I want every every airplane I see. Uh, Discover RC FPV at Lauren. Yeah. So as far as the FPV airplane goes, right now as it's a little bit, you know, it's, the flight characteristics aren't exactly um, predictable. I would say no, no for the FPV for me right now. Um, my Consendo, I want to do the do the FPV on the Consendo most definitely. Scale FPV. Yeah, yeah. Like I, like I said, I discover RC. Uh, not for right now. I'm not gonna try and do scale FPV. I have my um, my uh, Corsair that I really like. That that thing is is completely um, um, predictable. Now I'm wondering if like the Lemon R, the Lemon RX with the uh, stabilizer in it will be will, will straighten this thing out a little bit. It may, and that might be that might make it a really nice. Um, that might make it a really nice flyer. Just kind of, just, just kind of, just kind of takes away some of the, um, the, the jumpiness of it. It just really kind of calms the airplanes down a lot. So, let's see. Uh, don't forget to put down trim in. Yeah, uh, Petitel would be fun. I'm gonna buy one. I'm an addict. Huh? <laughs> That's funny, Lauren. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> Where are the RC enablers? <laughs> Uh, great plane. Do a touch and go. I like the way it flies, Jeff. Yeah. Let's see. I want one. Says Wes H. Discover RC. Nice job. So if you guys do decide to buy one of these, definitely click on the link that I'll put down in this video below or on my other two videos that I have on this. Oh, what was the voltage? The voltage was, um, Robson Racing. It was, uh, uh, seven, uh, seven, um, uh, 3.7, 3.7, 3.6, I believe. <laughs> what kind of expo for this flight on the aileron? Um, do you use dual uh, expo setting for uh, landing versus sport flight? I use 30% expo on everything that I that I fly. Uh, across the board, just everything is that's my go-to is just 30% expo. Um, on this airplane, let me just show you guys real quick. Uh, on this airplane, I have uh, my my rates set up on these. Uh, I gotta turn the camera around. Sorry, guys. Okay, turning camera around. If I can. Okay, so if you guys can see my uh, aileron there. So I'll I'll go this way. Yeah. Okay, so if I turn this knob all the way up, that's full aileron. And if I turn it all the way down the other way, almost nothing. So 
this flight I had it at 50% which is right there so if you can see here um, if I can't do think two things at once <laughs> okay okay throttle cuts on so that's full so if I, I'm turning the dial here all the way down and all the way to 100% right there so if you guys can see that so that's that's nice so in the air if I feel like um, you know it's a little too if it's rolling on the roll axis too too much I could just take the knob turn it down by 10% I did that on this flight I had the elevator um, up so that I would get off the ground a little bit more more um, a little bit faster and then during the flight I felt like the elevator was a little too pitchy so I turned it down down to 50% <clears throat> On the ailerons, I had it at 50% and it was a little bit too fast on the roll position, so I just turned it down to like 40%. So that's that's how I, I do that. It's, it's pretty easy uh, to set up on this Turney GI-10. So um, I should have <clears throat> my Spectrum um, radio going pretty soon, but uh, I'll probably get the Lemon RX going in here. I'll see if that, it helps out this airplane at all. So sorry, sorry. <laughs> all right, so let me just. Um, Yeah, um, the slowpoke, you know, like I said, guys, it's, a, it's, it's not exactly a stable airplane. You can't just like, you know, you know, have it cruise and just kind of um, stay there or, you know, take throttle off. And it, 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 it takes some controlling. And for me, that's not really what an FPV airplane should be. It should be something that's very, very stable. You take your hands off the controls and it just flies dead straight. Um, this one didn't do that. So... Um, it is a fun flyer. It's very acrobatic because it's so short From nose to tail and it's got these giant wings. You really can do a lot with it I mean just flying it inverted was a dream. Uh, it was really pretty good. So yeah, I know stabilizer <laughs> anyway guys um, I know you guys have your day to get to I'm gonna throw the Mavic Air up in the air and uh, I'm gonna get a second flight going um, and I'll have that up on my channel real soon um, if you guys don't know, I have a new Amazon inf Influencers page. Um, if you look at any of my last two or three videos, you can actually click on that page and I have a full store in uh, Amazon now, which is really cool. So if you guys ever uh, decide to go buy anything on Amazon, if you click through that link, it always helps out my channel, helps me um, be able to bring you guys uh, cool uh, maidens like this of the new planes that are out there so I can show you guys what it's like. So. Uh, anyway, um, consider that next time you do your Amazon purchase, uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.